Hello, trading is closed on April the 14th, 2020. We'll go over our calls. We did see our target from the 9th of April, 2006.95. Support under the target. We have new targets. This one doesn't print tomorrow. Higher one will forget it. Lower one's favorite to print. Let's go over what we said. Of course, if we gap up, it won't. We said bears had a chance to resume the decline if they gap under the low. Bulls needed to overtake the high, and Thursdays as well promptly to resume the advance. That's what they did. We got the most common thing, gap in the prompt, move outside the day's range. So the bulls did what we said they had to do. During the day, we got an ultimate buy signal. That's worked. VJT says it won't stick. And that's how we get the targets. But of course, um, if we gap up, I'm no longer predicting these will print tomorrow. Well, this had been my count, but I now, I now think it's going to fail. It hasn't failed yet because we haven't intersected, overlapped that low. But we had a perfect set up yesterday based on a number, I mean today, based on a number of different systems for us to drop and resume the decline. That failed in grand style. And when you have a great setup and it fails immediately before the open, usually, not always, usually it doesn't fail, but just a little bit. Now, how high up could we go? Well, if you connect these highs, when we had this break last week, I said that the break over the line, according to DeMarc, would go over the line by the same distance and went under it. Well, that's over 600 points, 613 points or something. I just rejected that out of hand. thought it was impossible. It's not so impossible now. If we do it pretty soon, we'll top out around 3,000, which is also the 200-day moving average. Seems uh, just last week or so, week and a half ago, we were in the 2400s, talking about 3000s, and this break seemed just ridiculous to me. But it isn't all that far away, and if the Mark stuff is right, that's where this is headed. We will also run into the 200 day moving average. Wednesday's pattern has the early high. Plus, there is an early rally. It tends to be a down day. It usually has a low in the final hour. Plus, we get up smartly. We have lower major targets, but they're not that much lower. I don't think they're low enough to justify a trade in front of a big rally like this. My favorite wave count will probably fail. Uh, a rally near 3,000, hard as it was, I believe, a few days ago, is likely if the rally continues at its present pace. And that's a target that's not a stop in reverse. We've had huge moves. I think we closed 125 handles over yesterday's low. And moves of this magnitude are a characteristic of bear market rallies and not of new bulls. But as far as where this bear market rally is going to end, I will confess I'm quite surprised by its magnitude already. And I won't be surprised if we hit 3,000. How high we're going to go if we go past 3,000-ish, I don't really know. So. Tomorrow is the early high. Usually it's a negative day, but if we gap up over that, the prospects of these numbers printing the negative day are taken off the table. And that's today's call.